Hello everyone, welcome along to the channel. Um, today I want to take a look at these fit shear pliers that I picked up from the car boot sale last week. I've been looking out for a, a nice pair of these uh, for a while now and this set is a, a very nice set indeed. Um, I do actually have a set that I picked up recently at the car boot sale and these ones have the more usual uh, red handles on them look. I know these ones are a bit beaten up as you can see this set is rather beaten up and damaged but uh, this is the normal um, colour handles that you see with these pliers uh, online but for some reason mine have these rather nice green handles on them they do actually have um, fit number 14 embossed onto the handle just there uh, made in western Germany under here and they're also marked as 8 inch as well um, they're called shear pliers because of the way they operate, the way they cut, as you can see it's a very different way of cutting cables etc than a standard set of pliers that tend to use the more common um, pinch cut as you can see here that's what you normally see on a pair of combination pliers and these uh, fit number 14's also have a cutter behind the uh, pivot here cutting things like nails etc which you probably wouldn't want to be trying to cut in a shear cut as I say this this set here I got um, this cost me one pound from the car boot sale last week um, they didn't need very much cleaning up at all uh, the uh, acetate handles here as I say they're in this rather nice green I've not seen this online before um, the other style of fit pliers are called fit number 15 and they have a two-part um, handle on them like this here I'm not sure whether these are still made or not um, I believe from what I read from what I understand online um, the company Odua I believe the company is called um, they used to make a range of tools and then they came out with these little fellows right here and found they were such good sellers uh, apparently I read that they uh, went over just to making these alone and they were making these from the 1950s um, the packaging by the looks of things and from what I read the packaging didn't change in all that time obviously they would have added things like uh, barcodes or um, QR codes etc to the packaging but um, yeah the packaging didn't change at all as we can see right here and it also shows uh, all the uh, things that these pliers can do on the back cuts, nips, grips etc and you can see we've got standard combination plier jaws just here these are serrated you've got the pipe grips or grips or, uh, cut, a grip getting hold of round uh, items and say so we've got the shear cutters quite a largish pivot just there and the uh, cutters behind, at the back there but these ones feel quite nice in the hand actually um, I don't know why but these are uh, fairly uh, slick I mean they're not wet or greasy in any way but they are a very slick um, set of grips to get hold of but uh, other than that they're quite nice and as I say these as you can see are in very nice condition I think what we better do is uh, let's get these down to the workshop and see what they will cut shall we guys okay so I can understand the uh, designers thinking what if we took some uh, sheet metal shears and combine them with a pair of combination pliers and this was the result these are rather interesting pliers um, the design caught on so well that there are actually other manufacturers still making these today but more on that later on okay so we have different gripping options with these we have the uh, round jaws there which we can use to get out of pipe and we have the uh, flat jaws here that we can use to grip flat stock as you can see and possibly even bend it oh, this is a really hard thick piece of aluminium is this okay so this stuff is 2.1 millimeters thick aluminium and even took quite a bit of effort to cut this strip off of here with these fellows right here Oh, wow, oh, blimey, 
You can see how long these are. So I'm not going to do too much bending, I wouldn't have thought. Oh, wow, yeah, a little bit of bending there, but not a lot. So we'll have to see how well the, the shear cutters cut it, because it's quite tough stuff, this is. Let's give it a go, shall we? Oh yeah, look at that. Nice clean cut. What about these old battered ones? How well do they do? Yeah, just as good. So that's an interesting result in itself that um, these are, I find it easy to cut this stuff with these pliers easy as that than it is to cut it with these things here which are twice as long look let's give it a go again you can see but oh, there we go that's interesting what about cable and wire um, this is the uh, this is stuff again. I still can't find my uh, earthing cable. I don't know where that's gone. I'm sure what we have here is multi stranded copper. How well can the shears cut it? Nice and easily. There's no effort required there at all. Or oh, just at the end, there's a little bit sticky. What about um, two mil twin and earth as used in the UK? Or at least it was at one point or another used in UK wiring in um, you know mains. So let's see how well they shear it off. Not too bad at all. What about this older pair here? Because these are a bit battered, as you can see. Yep. And what if you want to cut something harder, like a nail here? You wouldn't want to be doing that in the shear cutters because it wouldn't do them a lot of good. I wouldn't have thought. So they've thoughtfully included this cutter behind the uh, pivot here. Let's try that, shall we? Give that a go. Pyoing! What about the newer pair? Are they any good? Let's have a look. Get the camera to focus. Oh yeah, they're even easier, they are. Okay, so you can see even the uh, more battered pair of these pliers can handle uh, quite a range of materials very easily. Let's get back to the studio. Okay then, so you can see the design works really well. Um, as I say, they uh, designed in the 1950s, from what I understand. The packaging hasn't changed at all in all that time. Whether they're still making these, I don't know. However, it has uh, proved to be an interesting and obviously useful design because there are other manufacturers out there making these things still today. Um, we have Crescent, I think one of the companies is called Marvel. Um, I don't know if you can get that over here in this country, but um, Crescent, as I say, they make two pairs of these, two styles of these. And uh, one of my favourite companies, Engineer, also makes uh, a pair of them. I believe they're called the uh, PZ59s. Here they are. They look a really cool set of pliers, I think. Um, I can't find them for sale over here in the UK just yet, so I'm thinking that they may be a new design, a new style come out by Engineer. Not only do they have the uh, shear cutter, uh, they've replaced this part here, this cutting section here, with a uh, cable crimper, so you can crimp um, terminals onto wires. And they also have the um, famous screw extracting section to them too which is quite clever so um, I'd really like to get hold of a pair of those but I can't find them for sale in the UK at all. So an interesting design that's still being made by other companies to this day by the looks of things. As I say this is the uh, nicest pair I've come across. I got them for a pound at the car boot sale uh, last week. They're in very very good condition. Look at those. I love the colour of the handles too, that lovely green. I think it's much nicer than the red here. Uh, quite why they started to make them in green, I really don't know, because I can't find any pictures online of uh, these things with green handles. So whether it was some kind of limited edition run, I don't know, and I guess we'll never know. Alright then guys, well um, I hope you enjoyed popping over to Rathbone Manor today to take a look at these uh, very interesting pliers. They are part of my collection now. These are going to go going into one of my drawers. Um, this pair, yeah, I, I quite like these, but they're a bit too battered for uh, my uh, special collection, shall we say. 
Um, so these will be joining those shortly. Uh, don't forget guys, you can subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed today's um, content, please feel free to click a thumbs up because that would help my channel too. Uh, you can share the video with your friends and you can also find these pliers, both of these sets, on my Instagram channel too. So pop down there and have a look at that to see what else I've got on there. I've got other stuff on there. Mrs Rathbone's on there too. Alrighty guys, well thanks for popping over. Thanks for taking a look at these uh, really nice pliers and um, I hope to see you back at the channel another day. Catch you later. Thanks for watching. <laughs>